is almost impossible to grow food here. There is too much rock. The growing season is too short. And even at the peak of summer, when the sun never sets, it gets too cold. But inside a new, innovative, igloo-shaped building... What are these leafy ones back there? Hey, there we go. How often do you guys eat vegetables, do you think? Four. That's awesome. The way that the carrots work, vegetables and fruit are thriving, demonstrating there may be a solution to one of the chronic problems facing small northern communities. Oh, like it? Fruits and vegetables are available in the north, of course, but the problem is by the time they get here, they're not that fresh and they're very expensive. Joanna and Simona Copa have three children and grocery bills that would make people in the south choke. Maybe 140 or 160 a month for a very small amount of vegetables and fruits. They're too expensive to buy them all the time. The solution, if it works, has been years in the making a group of students from Ryerson University in Toronto, with donated funds and lots of local help, built the greenhouse. The project is Ben Canning's passion. So when the sun starts to go down, um, what this does is it actually radiates heat into the greenhouse. It's set up to work seven months a year now. With more innovations coming, plants will grow year round. These are our kale plants. Uh, they are two weeks old um, and quite large for two week old kale plants thanks to our hydroponic cows. Most of the plants, 2,000 when they get the greenhouse working at capacity, grow hydroponically in towers. By growing vertically, what we can do is uh, actually increase our crop yield by about four times per square foot. It's not the first greenhouse in the north, but by combining all the latest technology, the hope is it will be able to provide fresh food in a small community in the north all year round for less than half the cost of what comes from the south. And nutritionally, it's going to be a big benefit to the children and the pregnant mothers and the adults, of course. Hi, welcome to the greenhouse, how are you? Drop-ins of all ages are encouraged for the goals are nutritional and educational. The students from the south, no matter how well they fit in, have to go home. These young people from the south are teaching our kids up here how to grow these kind of things, and that's a really, really nice thing to do. So Luke Angutialu is getting a job running the place. I hope it continues, and I hope that it will it will help a lot of people. But the greenhouse has to prove itself to be sustainable. The first harvest, the first mass taste test, an important milestone. The first crop ready for picking, kale, by the small bagful. Turned into kale chips, with more familiar imported offerings to bring in the crowd. At the greenhouse on the big day, the kale went first and fast. They're crunchy. <laughs> yeah. An unfamiliar treat for many. Tasty, eh? Oversalted to some. But most people wanted more. Nice and spicy, really good. Crunchy. It's ever good. Is this the first food you've eaten that's been grown in now yet? And there should be more even in the long and dark winter months to come. Smell like sunshine flower. Sunshine, success, and an idea that may grow across the north. Avergould, CBC News, Nauyat, Nunavut.